Hello and welcome to another video here in the headquarters of Aeromind, uh, the official distributor of Unique in Poland. But not only Unique, we have a lot of other stuff and one of these things is this. It's a very interesting measurement unit. Um, so this is basically a flying uh, gas analysis laboratory. Uh, it's called Atmon FL. Uh, it's made by Nanosense. It's a Polish company that's, that has been in the market of uh, gas analysis equipment since uh, since 1990. So it's uh, so they have 30 years of experience with this. Uh, this is a really great device. Uh, it's fully standalone. It has its own GPS. It has its own. Uh, temperature measurement unit, uh, b uh, altimeter, uh, it has uh, its own battery, it doesn't require really any integration with the drone uh, because it's, uh, it's made to be mounted here on the drone. Um, so it's a fully standalone device. Uh, like I said, you can use it on the H520, which it has been designed for, but because it's fully standalone, it can just as well work just standing next to a computer or maybe on the street, maybe mounted to a car. Uh, basically, uh, since it's fully standalone, uh, how you use it only depends on, on you and on your needs. So, how does it work? Uh, this device, when you turn it on, it initializes itself and starts uh, taking measurements. Uh, like I said, it measures temperature, uh, it measures uh, altitude, it measures time as well. Uh, it measures uh, it measures its position because it has its own GPS, and most importantly, uh, it measures uh, up to six different kinds of air pollutants. Uh, not only pollutants, really, but uh, it depends on what kind of sensors you choose for your unit. Um, it takes in uh, the air through an inlet on the back, on the on the bottom. Uh, the air goes through. Uh, it, it's sucked in by a fan that's installed inside. It goes through uh, all the sensors and then it's pumped out of the unit. Uh, so the whole circulation uh, of, of, of the gas inside uh, takes merely maybe a second or a couple of seconds. So after a couple of seconds after taking the measurement, the, uh, it's fully uh, filled with uh, new fresh air. So each measurement is, uh, is fresh and there is maybe a couple of seconds of, of, of delay. So you are probably asking yourself, what can this device exactly detect? Well, the list is quite long. Uh, it's uh, also uh, it's al also always being expanded. There are always uh, possibilities of including something new. So if something is not on the current list, uh, make sure to send us a question. If the the gas or the medium that you would like to detect uh, is it available, maybe it will be available soon. But for now, the full list of, uh, of uh, substances that it can detect uh, is as follows. It can detect uh, particulate matter, uh, PM10 and PM2.5. Also, PM1 is, uh, is an option. It can detect uh, ammonia. It can detect volatile organic compounds. It can detect sulf sulfur dioxide. Uh, ozone, nitrogen, nitrogen dioxide, formaldehyde, carbon monoxide, gaseous chlorine, uh, ethanol, hydrogen sulfide, hydrogen chloride. Um, it also has two special sensors which uh, detect a whole group of, of gases. Um, these two sensors uh, are aimed at a particular group of, uh, of substances with similar qualities. Uh, so the first one is the air quality group or the air quality complex. Uh, this sensor will give you uh, positive readings 
if any of the gases that it can detect uh, will appear uh, in the sample. So these gases are carbon monoxide, hydrogen sulfide, nitrogen oxides, all kinds of nitrogen oxides, and sulfur dioxide. The second special sensor uh, is the respiratory irritants sensor. So it can, uh, it, it can detect uh, gases that uh, irritate our respira respiratory system. And these gas gases are uh, nitrogen dioxide, ozone, gaseous chlorine, chlorine and hydrocarbon gases. Uh, other sensors are uh, expected to be available in the future. Uh, like I said, if you have any needs in this, uh, in this matter, don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, there are some sensors that are not uh, on this list, but uh, could be if uh, there is sufficient interest. Um, uh, as, uh, as, as I said, the Atmon FL is produced here in Poland. Uh, you can order through our website on www.aeromind.pl. Uh, you can also contact us through this website if you have any questions. Um, this was an introduction of Atmon FL made by Nanosense. Uh, thank you for watching.